Hello and welcome to another episode of In the Blood. I'm your host, AC Bergen Fisher. Today I want to look at a topic that's close to my heart and I believe essential for all of us. Daily habits for a fulfilling life. We all want to live a life that feels enriched, satisfying, and meaningful. But sometimes it feels like the gap between where we are and where we want to be is too wide. The truth is that gap can often be bridged by making small, consistent changes in our daily habits. In today's episode, I'll be sharing a few simple habits that can help us lead a more fulfilling life. These habits are easy to implement, don't require any special equipment, and can make a big difference over time. So let's get into it. The first habit is mindfulness. Now, I know this term gets thrown around a lot these days, but it's popular for a reason. Mindfulness is all about being present in the moment. It's about taking a break from the constant noise in our heads and just being. One way to practice mindfulness is through meditation. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. Just a few minutes a day of focusing on our breath and noticing our thoughts without getting caught up in them can make a significant difference. Let's consider a practical example. Suppose you're having a stressful day at work. Your mind is racing and you feel overwhelmed. Taking just five minutes to sit quietly, close your eyes and focus on your breathing can help reset your mind. Breathe in slowly for a count of four. Hold for four. And breathe out for four. As you do this, thoughts will come and go, but that's okay. The goal is not to stop thinking, but to be aware of your thoughts without getting swept away by them. For me, starting the day with a few minutes of meditation sets a positive tone for everything that follows. It helps me to be more aware, more present, and less reactive. And it's something we can all do. If meditation isn't your thing, maybe try a mindfulness walk. Leave your phone behind and pay attention to the sights, sounds, and smells around you. Feel the ground under your feet. Listen to the birds. Notice the color of the leaves. It's a simple habit, but it can profoundly impact how you experience your day. Another habit that can lead to a more fulfilling life is gratitude. I know it might sound cliche, but gratitude is powerful. Taking a few moments each day to reflect on what you're grateful for can shift your perspective. It's easy to get caught up in what's not going well what we don't have, or what we wish was different. Gratitude helps us focus on what we do have and what is going well. Here's a simple way to practice gratitude. Every night before you go to bed, think of three things that happened during the day that you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. In fact, it's often the small things that bring the most joy. For example, maybe you enjoyed a delicious cup of coffee, received a kind message from a friend, or saw a beautiful sunset. By acknowledging these moments, you start to train your brain to look for the positive, which can significantly impact your overall mood and outlook. I'm finding that the more I practice gratitude, the more I notice the good things in my life. It's like a muscle that's getting stronger with use. Over time, gratitude can become a natural part of the mindset, helping us to navigate even the challenging times with a greater sense of peace and contentment. The next habit is moving your body. Exercise isn't just about physical health, it's about mental and emotional health too. 
You don't have to spend hours at the gym or run a marathon. Just find something you enjoy and make it part of your routine. It could be a morning stretch, a dance session in the kitchen, or a walk around the neighborhood. For example, if you enjoy being outdoors, consider starting your day with a short walk in a nearby park. Feel the fresh air on your face. Notice the sounds of nature and let the movement wake up your body and your mind. If you prefer something indoors, maybe a yoga session is more your style. Yoga combines movement with mindfulness, helping you to feel more connected to your body and calmer in your mind. For me, it's all about finding joy in movement. I've tried several things over the years, from walking, to stretching, to sit-ups, and I keep coming back to the ones that make me feel good. Don't force yourself into a workout you hate. Find something that brings you joy and do it regularly. Your body and your mind will thank you. Another simple habit for a fulfilling life is connecting with others. We're social beings and connection is a fundamental human need. In our busy lives, it's easy to let relationships take a back seat, but spending quality time with people who uplift us can have a tremendous impact on our well-being. Whether it's a phone call with a friend, a coffee date, or just a shared meal with family, these connections enrich our lives. Think about someone you haven't spoken to in a while. It could be a friend, a family member, or a colleague. Reach out to them, even if it's just a quick message to say hello. You'll be surprised at how much a simple act of connection can brighten both your day and theirs. Make it a habit to regularly check in with the people who matter to you. It doesn't have to be anything big. Sometimes just a few minutes of genuine conversation can make all of the difference. I've learned that it's not about the quantity of relationships, but the quality. Nurture the connections that matter to you. Be present, listen, and share. A sense of belonging and connection is vital to a fulfilling life. Lastly, give yourself permission to rest. We live in a culture that glorifies busyness, but rest is so important. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to say no. It is okay to set boundaries. Rest isn't a luxury. It's a necessity. Without it, we can't show up as our best selves. Find what rest looks like for you. It might be a nap, might be a day off, a quiet evening with a book, or just sitting for a few minutes in silence. For example, take a look at your week. Look at where you can carve out some time for yourself. Maybe it's setting aside Sunday afternoons for a personal retreat. No emails, no obligations. Just time for you to relax and recharge. Maybe it's taking a few minutes each day to enjoy a cup of tea in silence. Whatever it is, make it a priority. Rest allows us to recharge, to be more present, and to enjoy life more fully. So, don't feel guilty about taking time to rest. You deserve it. To sum it up, A fulfilling life isn't about making huge changes or achieving lofty goals. It's about the small daily habits that add up over time. By practicing mindfulness, expressing gratitude, moving our bodies, connecting with others, and giving ourselves permission to rest, we can create a life that feels more satisfying and meaningful. Thank you for joining me today on In the Blood. I hope these simple habits inspire you to make small changes that lead to a more fulfilling life. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with someone who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Until next time, take care, be kind to yourself, 
and remember that you have the power to create a life that you love one habit at a time. Much love.